what's going on guys uh, my name is uh, Jose Reese Joe I am from Harlingen Texas well originally from Sinton Texas a small town uh, west of Corpus Christi uh, I am an avid fisherman I enjoy saltwater fishing and freshwater fishing uh, I haven't been fishing in uh, quite a uh, few months well I've been a few times because of back surgery and shoulder surgery I'm retired military uh, retired from the Army. Anyway, uh, I started uh, going fishing again in the, uh, in the past uh, few weeks and I started bass fishing. Uh, I've done bass fishing before. Uh, I just really wasn't that much into bass fishing. I am really into saltwater fishing. Reds, uh, speckled trout, uh, flounder, uh, snook, all that good stuff, uh, shark fishing also. But I've got a good friend of mine that him and I, he's also an army buddy, uh, that we go bass fishing here in uh, Harlington, Texas. Well, here around the South uh, South Texas, uh, down deep South Texas here. And we do a lot of bass fishing. He got me into the mystery tackle box. Uh, and I started this now I just got my first box today uh, the first box that I got today I'm about to open it and I'm kind of excited I've seen some of the stuff that he's had uh, he's got four boxes this is my first box it's kind of exciting uh, the only reason that I started it is because I wanted to get back into just catch and release get back into my fishing because of my shoulder surgery uh, I had to kind of get back a little bit into it a little bit at a time, you know, doctor's orders, you know, not to get crazy. Uh, can't go do hardcore fishing like I was doing, snapper fishing or shark fishing or anything like that. But I wanted to do something different. He loves it. Uh, I love it too, but I just hadn't been able to go. And now that I've been going the last couple of weeks with him, uh, I've caught a couple of, uh, well, actually I've caught a catfish and I've also caught some bass. Uh, but at the same time, uh, believe it or not, uh, I've caught the catfish on a spinnerbait. Uh, but anyway, I uh, wanted to start this because it's something different. But I also wanted to record it because I, it's just something different that I wanted to do. I wanted to kill time. I'm retired military. I ain't got much to do uh, but fish. Hey, it's better than not doing anything at all. But I love fishing. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. To, uh, to do is just to show you what I got in the first uh, box so I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna tell you I did pay for the full year I went ahead and just paid for the full year because uh, getting the mystery tackle box you can do so many things paying the full year just helps me I want to get it out of the way but I can change it to salt water I can change it to pan fishing uh, and I can change it to to you know just if I want to just kind of it go three months bass and then maybe a month uh, pan fishing or uh, another month of uh, salt water. You know, you just kind of mix it around if I wanted to. Or I can go straight up the full year of bass fishing just depending on what, I'm, of what I like, if I like what I'm getting. But the first things first, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to open this up. I want to see what I got first. And the first thing I'm going to pull out is check this out. As you can see, a uh, nice little sticker here it's fish he's freezing that's how i feel sometimes i know it doesn't get that cold here down here in south texas but it's pretty cool because it does get cold air once in a while but anyway it's a pretty cool little sticker uh you know that's pretty cool another thing that we that i that i do uh see here it's uh dibble tips and tricks from uh mystery tackle box has a little crossword puzzle asking questions of type of knot that involves wrapping the line across you know around a hook a few times and then you answer it you know it's one down and so forth and then if you open it it says uh, bank fishing 101 uh, then it says three baits you should try on a Nico rig it just kind of gives you different things uh, the sinkle the trick worms and different things you know and I know you're not going to see that perfectly but there you go just to kind of give you a little bit of of what it's of what it's telling you on the back it says uh, <clears throat> Carl's Corner thoughts from the other KVD uh, what's the best fishing song of all times 
uh, just kind of gives you a little bit of things of what of what he's saying. You know, I'm listening to the jams when I'm fishing nonstop. It's it's how I stepped. Uh, it's how I set the tone of mentally to get into my zone. But my playlist is getting pretty competitive, and I need to choose the best fishing songs. Here's my favorite so far, and then it tells you who's your favorite fishing. You know, fishing in the dark, nitty nitty gritty band, blah blah blah, this and that, and then of course the pro tips. Yeah, it just kind of gives you a little bit of different things. So that's pretty cool. Gives you a little bit of tips of what you got. You know, kind of keeps you busy. Uh, of course, while you're, if you know bass, you don't got time to do this, but you can be doing this while maybe uh, you're at the house when it's raining because if you're like me, you probably still go fishing when it's raining. I did, and I got stuck in the mud last week, but that's another story. Anyway, here's the first thing I want to show you, and the first thing is uh, it's the Westprin Swim. It's a pretty good size uh it's a pretty good size lure. <laughs> you can check it out. Check this baby out. Uh, uh, hiding the eye, but here. Check this out. Man, that's a pretty good size one, isn't it? Check this baby out. They got it coming at you. Man. Pretty good size. It's a uh, nice little hooks there. And the, the treble hooks. It's not a bad. If you can see the, the colors. Look at that. Not... Not a bad little. It's a pretty good size. I mean, this is this is a this is a nice little this is a nice little lure, man. I mean, I mean, well, I say little, but it's not. As you can see, it it's a it's it's a pretty good size. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a western. I've never used something this big before. Uh, but hey, you know what? It's always the first time. So uh, I'm gonna I want to see this. I want to see how that works. The next one I want to use is the Lucky Craft LC RTO. Now this one is a crazy color. Man, this is a cool color. As you can see it, it's a cool color. And you hear the little, you can barely, you know, got a little, sh got a little noise to it. Not much, but look at the color to it. It's pretty cool. As you can see the color to it, look, look at the, the side angle to it. It's pretty cool in there. You can see the the different colors to it. Not bad, huh? Look at that. Look at that baby. Look at that. Look at the top to it. It's not a bad little lure. Look at that. The crankbait. It's a nice little lip. Okay. I like that one. Next one in the box is the Max Lure Square Bill. It's another one. Has a little bit more shake to it, has a little bit more sound to it, as you can hear that. As you can see the colors to it. You can see that? Got a little red on it. Nope. You can see the, the front to it. You see a little side view. You can see the top. Pretty cool little crank beep. But you see the bill? See that? Pretty cool looking. Okay. And the next one we got is the heavy metal football jig tungsten. Okay, this is the one, looks like a little football obviously. Well, because of the weight. See a little football? You can see the little football weight on there. But as you can see, look at the look at that. That's cool. Look at the little colors to it though. Got the little blue, the purplish color, the black color. Look at that. The one I caught the catfish in was the chartreuse type, just like this. But it was a spinner bait. Had the little silver spoon and also the goat spoon on it attached to it. And I caught like it was about a, I think it was, I want to say about an 18, 19 inch catfish. Never caught one on a spinner bait before. But it was pretty cool. I'll probably just put a picture up on it anyway, so that way y'all can see it. It wasn't on this. But anyway, check this out, man. This is nice. I like this color. It's nice color on it. Okay. Now, the next one we have is the Excite Baits Shad Nasty. Okay. 
These are the Excitebait Chad Nasty. It has a little bit of like a greenish color with the paddle tail as you can see you see the tail to it you see that and you see the color to it if you look it looks like a pumpkin seed but I like it look at that that's nice and look at the that's the bottom of it But look at it's so it's it's nice and flimsy right, right here. It's nice because I think in the water it's gonna it's gonna look pretty cool. But that's a nice little one right there. Look at that. There's the front. The front to it right there. Okay, that's the excitement. Shad nasty. What a name. Huh? Hopefully it's nasty on the water that way we can hook them up. The next ones are the Sam. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's the Sam Matis. So it's a Sam. I don't know, but there's a S A M A T I S Sam Tis Tisno T. Uh, you know what, dude? I can't say that. But it's it's like a worm. Figured we could. Or it looks like a nice little speck has a little groove in there see the groove I don't know if you can hear the thunder outside speaking about rain we're about to get some rain here in a little bit when you see that you can use this as a weed list I think I can hook it up put it in the, if it's a slow slow day I can put it in the bottom hopefully just kind of Use it as a Nico, then kind of just let it hit the water. I mean, hit his hit the bottom and hook it up. Then we get some nice bass down there while they're just chilling. Then we get it right in front of it. Well, you know, hey man, try anything once. And then the last thing that I got here was the sticky wacky drop shot hook. It's the one aught. There you go. Got the one aught. Okay. And here's the actual hook. I don't know if you can see it there. So small. See that? A little small hook right there but as best as I can there you go look at that there's the hook that I got I've used these to catch perch for salt water just so I can use them as bait for reds trout you okay. can just to kind of put the whole perch and use them as, as my bait and yes I've caught the reds on them but that's the uh, mystery box that's what I got I like it it's pretty cool now like I said earlier, I paid for the whole year. Uh, I'm trying to get this hook without dropping on the floor. I have a little small pup. Uh, but anyway, I paid for the full year. <clears throat> okay, now that's up to you if you want to pay for the full year. I don't recommend anything. I am not an expert. I am not anybody that can tell you how to fish, what to fish. I just enjoy doing this, man. I love fishing. I take my family fishing. I don't care if we catch. I Don't get me wrong. I love catching fish. I love eating fish. I love saltwater fishing. I love bass fishing. What I, I've, I've done gar fishing. I've done all kinds of fishing. I've eaten shark. I've eaten, you name it, I've eaten. Bass is one thing that I love to catch and release. Don't get me wrong. I've eaten catfish, freshwater catfish. But my thing is this, man, look, if you can take your family out there, have some fun, take them out fishing. But I'm doing this because I enjoy it, man. This is great. Four days, I will turn 56 years old. 
Yes, happy birthday to me. I'm giving my props. I am retired military. I've earned it. Happy birthday to me. Anyway, I really enjoy this. I love fishing. I enjoy fishing. I am so glad I got my mystery tackle box in the month of May because this starts a whole new thing for me. And another thing that I wanted to show you is check out this box. Check out what's the inside of This is so cool. This is genius, I think. This is so cool the way they do it. You know, it has a ruler. Eh, you know, I don't think, you know, people want to use it. That's fine. And, you know, it tells you all kinds of good stuff. Shop and save, rods, reels, swag, tackle, uh, line, more and more. Mystery tackle box, you know, happy fishing. Uh, I love I love when they do the happy dance when I went on, on the mystery tackle box uh, uh, website. It's pretty cool. There's three three uh sets of boxes there's uh, i call it a b and c i got the pro i think the third one is the elite and then you got the the first one i took the the middle one because i just wanted to get something that was kind of in the middle you know you take the first one you may not get what you really want you take the third one you may get maybe what you want but it's too much so i kind of took the middle you know kind of took a little bit less but a little bit more than what i than what i didn't think i was going to get so i i chose the middle one but i also had a friend that told me hey you know what just get the pro and you'll part and i know you'll be happy with it i really enjoyed this <clears throat> first box because it's my first time doing this uh i if i seem nervous it's because i am but then again i've done i've never done this before so i'm gonna be on uh i'm gonna i'm gonna put this up on on my youtube uh and once i create the youtube well then i'll put it up but my thing is that do it but do it because you want to do it if you want to follow me follow me uh if you don't don't it doesn't matter to me but I wanted to tell you what I paid I paid the full year my thing tax title license everything like that came up to 276.88 that was for the whole the whole 12 months that came up to twenty three dollars and seven cents point three 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 I just twenty three dollars and seven cents okay that's what I put up for the full year I mean for the full years 280 276.88 Per month is $23.07, okay? What I got here was the Western Swim was $13.99. The Lucky Craft LC RTO was $12.99. The Max Lure Square Bill was $5.99. The Heavy Metal Fitness Football Jig Tunson was $5.49. The Excite Bait Shad Nasty was $4 even. The Samtisho T, if you say it right, $3. The Sticky Wavy Drop Shot Hook was $2.10. All that would add up to $47.56. So I practically doubled what I, what I paid for on my first box. Granted, most of y'all would probably say, I would probably never use all of it, which you may never use all of it. I may never use all of it, but I'll guarantee you I'll give it a try. Hey, it came in. Why not use it? You know why? Because the only thing that's going to happen is I may catch a fish. I may not catch a fish because every lure that you use, you are never guaranteed to catch a fish. I don't care what the experts say. I don't care what they tell me, what how they say it, because I have bought lures that they tell me you can catch a fish with this one almost every. No, you don't. You do not catch a fish in every darn uh, cast that you do, or every time you go fishing. And then there's people that say I won't ever tell you where my secret spot is. Fish do not stay at your secret spot every single weekend or every single day. That's just the way it is. Wake up, people, because that, that, that doesn't happen. I have gone to my secret spot every weekend, and guess what? I do not come home every weekend with, the, with fish, slot fish that I, that I can keep and bring home. Because it doesn't work that way. And if you tell me it does, you're lying to me. Anyway, 
But I will tell you that this is a great thing. I think the mystery tackle box, some people like it, some people don't. It doesn't matter. I like it. I, I, I like my first box. I'll keep doing it. I've already paid for it. I'm going to keep doing it. I may change it to salt water. I may change it to panfish. I may get a mixture of, uh, uh, of different things. But I will tell you one thing. Fishing, I really enjoy it. I love it. I enjoy it. And I'm going to use it. I'm going to take my GoPro out there. If I catch some fish, when I catch some fish, if I catch some fish, I will put it on here and I will put it on my YouTube page so that you can see that these baits will work if you put the time in. You can't catch any fish if you're not in the water. So get on the water, get out there and get some fishing in, okay? Take your family out or just go out there yourself, man. Have some time. That's salt water therapy for me. I know I say salt water because I love salt water, but fishing is just therapy for me. Fresh water therapy, salt water therapy, use it however you want. But you know what? I really enjoyed this. But until next time, hey man, this is JR. This is Joe out and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Happy fishing. Tight lines. Take care, my friends. Out. See you.